Group Therapy, written by J.C. Brill. Teaser, interior, bathroom, night. Sitting in a bath, Carmen, a disheveled young adult, stays motionless. She looks to her left, and we see several razors. She dunks her head under water. Interior, bedroom, night. Carmen organizes her room. She makes it look heavenly. She puts on a nice cute dress, necklaces, and makeup. Seeing her friend Avery's photo on her mirror, she smiles and places it back. Interior, bathroom, day. Carmen stands at a medicine cabinet. She fiddles with the medications, crying lightly. She takes a few out of a bottle and then she hears the front door slam. Surprised, she drops the medications. Quickly, Carmen picks them up, puts them back, and closes the medicine cabinet. Act 1. Interior, hospital room, bed. IV attached to Carmen as she woke up in the hospital. Her best friend, Avery, is sitting beside her patiently. Car, eh? What? Carmen sits up, looks around, and freaks out. Are you feeling better? Hey, hey, Carmen, you're okay. What happened? You were found in your room, passed out, sweating and shaking with a really high heart rate. Who? Chase. He came home early. Thank God he did, otherwise... Am I dead? No. Fuck, are you sure? Yes. God, this is so... Who knows? Uh, me, your mom, Chase, obviously, and... Uh, Jake. Fuck. Your mom called him. She thought you'd want to see him. After he cheated on me the entirety of our relationship? No. She was panicked. Avery gets a phone call. Oh, it's my dad. I I've got a... I'll head down to the cafeteria. Do you want anything? No, thank you. Avery exits with a smile and Celine enters. Celine launches herself onto Carmen. Oh, Jesus, Carmen, what is happening to you? Hi, Mom. I don't understand. Why? Is this because of school? Or Avery? I mean, they found Viagra in your system, Carmen. Why? Viagra? That was... Ew! Carmen slumps back in her chair, covering her face. Yeah, seven 25-milligram pills of Viagra. Recommended dose is 100. I thought it was Xanax. Fuck, I can't even kill myself correctly. Jesus, Carmen. At a certain dose, they're both blue, so I just... assumed. But why? Why are you acting like this? You haven't even gone out this summer. You're home all the time and, quite frankly, have been so difficult to be around, let alone take care of. I'm sorry. No, I'm not done. I am always by my phone, waiting for your next breakdown. Always nervous about you. Do you know how hard that is for me? Do you? Stop, please. Sometimes it is insufferable. I am trying, Carmen, but I don't know how much longer I can do this. My whole life revolves around you. And this stunt you pulled. I said stop, okay? Stop pretending. You don't know the first thing about taking care of me. You were barely here this summer. You... You're so selfish. Carmen. You know what? I bet you like that I'm depressed because it gives you something to complain about to your friends. The more I hear you talk, the more I want to fucking kill myself. Celine gasps and tears up. The nurse stands at the door, jello in hand, about to enter. You need serious help. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to... Therapy. I am so done with this.